Well, hello. This will be my second video for this evening. Uh, we just did, I just did one on speed reloading a handgun. Now I'm going to move to a carbine combat weapon system. Uh, in this case, we're working with an M4. Uh, this is a registered short barrel rifle. This is a 10 inch barrel weapon system. Uh, I have my particular Ninja 5 attachments on this. Uh, I'm going to show you what I use for myself and I'm going to show you a way to do it without my specific helping system, which in my case, my helping system, uh, as you can see right here, is Magpul's battery assist device, or bad lever. Uh, what it allows you to do is actually lock the bolt to the rear and or release it without having to index the weapon system over here and work the charging handle with your right hand. What it allows me to do is lock my bolt to the rear and or release it without ever losing my weapon hand grip. Uh, do I think you should have it? It's up to you. You can do it, you can not do it. I'm going to show you what, how I do it. and It is quite a bit faster with this specific device. Uh, I don't know if anybody else makes one. I'm not promoting it for Magpul. Uh, this just happens to be a Magpul. I like their stuff. I have yet to be able to really break one a lot. I have broke one, but that was during training. Uh, in a law enforcement class, I tripped, fell, the way it all went down, it ended up breaking that device. Uh, the good news about this device is even if you do break the end of it off, you can still run the slide lock or the ping pong paddle, as a lot of people call, call it, without, uh, even if that with that device is there, you can still work everything with or without that device. Um, for the sake of the video, just so everybody is sure, the uh, weapon is empty. And the magazines I'm going to be using, you can see the green followers, they are both empty. Uh, if you're working indoors, if you don't have snap caps, I would suggest you use an empty weapon system. Uh, no bullets, don't train with live bullets, you end up shooting your house or your dog or your wife or your kids or your neighbor kids or something, somebody's going to be angry if you shoot them. Uh, so don't do it. Train empty while you're training in the house. Uh, I also prefer a single point sling. There's multiple sling attachments out there, uh, two point, three point, whatever you want to use, it doesn't matter. For your specific mission or your specific weapon system, if you're law enforcement, most law enforcement like single point rig. Uh, a lot of military applications like the three point is more comfortable to carry. Uh, it doesn't matter what you use as long as you train with what you're going to use. Uh, don't go back and forth and move, you know, oh, i got a three point today, and tomorrow i got a single point, and the next day i got a two point, and the next day I've got, it doesn't matter. Whatever you're going to use, get it, decide what you like, stick with it, that's what you use every time. I preach that no matter what, what we're talking about. Uh, if we're talking about pistols, I'll preach that about pistols. Uh, there's so much stuff out there you can buy. Uh, pick what you're going to use and train with it. Uh, I also like the purpose of I have a completely stripped down M4 uh, that I train with quite a bit. Uh, there's no none of the Ninja 5 stuff on it. It's iron sights, carrying handle model, standard 16 inch barrel, 16 and a half inch barrel. Uh, I don't use the half vertical grip like I use on this. If I, I just a stripped down weapon system, it's great to train with if you intend on being on a battlefield. We're put in a situation where you might have to pick up a weapon system that doesn't have any of your gear on it. So, now that being said, what we're here to talk about is the speed reload of an M16 or an AR-15. Uh, we're going to work from the concept of you're out of bullets. Uh, for that purpose, we're going to talk about you come to slide lock, your bolts lock to the rear, you're empty. First thing you have to do is know that you're empty. How we're going to do that is on any carbine, what you want to do, the minute the gun stops working, press the trigger to the rear, if nothing happens, turn it over. You're going to look into the mag or the uh, chamber. You're going to look and see, well, there's no bullets. I can see my follower, so I know that that specific magazine's dry. Now I have to solve that problem. I need to get this weapon system back in service because Donnie the dirtbag's out there trying to take my life. So, you're going to rotate it over, you're going to look. Okay, no bullets, magazine's empty. Now what do I do? We're going to remove our trigger, 
finger from the trigger and catch the magazine release which is located conveniently above the trigger. At the same time we're going to turn the weapon system over and depress that. As you turn it and snap it, you snap it over, you're trying to get momentum as you bring it across to drop that magazine out of the weapon system. So when it does it, you get that. You're going to acquire your next magazine. As you acquire your next magazine, you're turning the weapon system over so you can see the bottom edge of your mag well. So, grab this spare magazine here. As you turn it over, look, bolt's locked, turn it and drop that magazine, acquire your next magazine. This is important. I use an M16 magazine with what we call a beer can grip. Uh, big, ugly, got my entire meat hook on it, I got control of it. The other way to do that is sort of like you would a pistol magazine. You would grab it, carry it with your bullets forward, as you acquire the magazine, you index the leading edge of your finger onto it. This does not work well for me. Uh, I like that big, ugly, grab it and have hold of it, pull the weapon system up, feed it, ping pong, you're ready to go. Excuse me. Now, a little bit faster and making sure that it works. It's not a bad reload. Uh, under combat stress, you're going to do it slower, you're going to miss. The key is rotate it, throw that magazine. As you throw that magazine, you're going to race to get up here at the last second, slow down, get it lined up feed it. Now whether you have the assist device or if you're just going to go from here and hit the ping pong paddle, either way works. And either way it works pretty effectively. Uh, for me, using that bad lever, well, I'll do it both ways. This will be with the ping pong paddle. That's not bad. That's decent reload in just about anybody's world. However, the reason why I prefer the bad lever, it's just a little bit faster. Uh, and in a gunfight or in a competition form, it matters. The big thing is repetition of motion and get rid of any excessive waste movement. You will notice that when I'm working this weapon system, or any weapon system, I have it up here in my workspace. I consider my workspace from the top of my belly button to my eyeballs. That's where the problem is going to be. Gunfights out in front of you, especially if you're using a carbine. So, keep it up here. Everything I do is up here. Not down here on the ground, not behind my back or whatever other ninja stuff you see on movies. Uh, most movie gunfight tricks don't work, just so you know. Uh, if you're going to get in a gunfight with me, I would prefer you try to use the ninja movie tricks. Uh, I just think I'll have a better chance that way. But uh, the point is, I, you need to practice this a lot. Anything you're going to practice, you need to practice over and over and over. Amateurs train until they get it right, professionals train until we get it wrong. So, the big thing is, you need to get it out there. Oh, gun's dry. Now what do I do? Well, I'm going to reload it. That's what I'm going to do. Uh, appreciate you watching the video. Like to see any questions or comments. Because uh, I know somebody going to ask. This is a Colt carbine uh, law enforcement model. Uh, EOTech sight. I do have the bad, bad lever. I do have flip up rear sights. Uh, this is not a hydraulic piston gun. This is a standard true carbine. Uh, I've thought about converting it. I just haven't yet. Uh, this is Magpul's half vertical grip, which if you're getting into how the mechanics of ma mitigating recoil, you'll learn that you know, this used to be the old school thought here. Hold on back here. Works real well. Uh, then they went to the vertical front pistol grip. Looked a lot like so. Can't really control it. Now we've learned that getting your thumb aligned a lot like a pistol grip on a handgun down the, the bore of the weapon system and pulling it back will help you mitigate the recoil. Uh, 
obviously can't do it in here, but I can assure you I can put uh, 10 shots in a 6 inch circle at 25 feet in uh, right at 6 seconds with this weapon system. <coughs> Excuse me. Which I promise you is combat effective in anybody's world. Uh, thanks for watching, and I believe my next video is probably going to be along the lines of uh, clearing malfunctions in both pistols and carbines. So stay tuned.